Bank and Commercial Bank of Africa are expected to formalize their union by the end of this year. This creating the third largest financial institution in the country in a deal estimated at a book value of 65 billion shillings. Faisal Ahmed with the details. The two banks aim to get shareholding approval in the first quarter of 2019, regulatory approval in the second quarter and formal merger in the third quarter. The merged entity is expected to be the region's third largest after KCB and Equity Bank. Having announced that we were entering the discussions back in this, on December 6th of last year 2018, is after two months of discussions we're here to announce that we have a deal. The transaction will take place through a share swap with the current NIC Group shareholders owning 47% of the merged entity and CBA shareholders owning 53% of the merged entity. NIC Group will remain listed. We see opportunity uh, to build up our revenue uh, generating capacity uh, through customers, through products and through the various solutions we have uh, for the broad range of uh, customers. The new group is also expected to benefit on the number of scale if a 1.4 billion shilling cash offer made to Jamie Bora for buying out goes through. And our intention is to build on that platform to basically uh, drive, uh, drive growth and so ultimately benefit our shareholders, both institutions, benefit our customers, both institutions, benefit our staff, both institutions. The merger is the first major deal announced in the industry since the government capped commercial lending rates in 2016. KCB Group is also in line to acquire beleaguered Imperial Bank from the Kenya Deposit Insurance Corporation. Faisal Ahmed, Citizen TV.